I'm a horn it up, Aries. I'm a horn it up, Aries. I'm a horn it up, Aries. I'm a horn it up. Can I pump it? Ah. Can I pump it? Ah. Can I pump it? Ah. 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 Can I pump it? What's going on, Aries? <laughs> Can I pump it? All right. Oh, shoot. Hope y'all enjoying. Hope y'all enjoying y'all weekend. I got a lot of fun things to do. I got to get me a, um, a Stone Mountain Pass. I got to get me a Stone Mountain Pass. It costs like, what, 35 bucks on Groupon for the whole year. So, Aries and love. Aries and love. All right. Okay, I feel like um, either you were married to this person or you was in a relationship with this person, a form of higher commitment with the higher font here. Get the higher font card, so um, you're in heavy uh, commitment or you were in heavy commitment with somebody who right now is not giving to this right now. Um, I think you've been trying to carry this relationship all by yourself, Aries, and it just hasn't been going the way you want it to go. You know what I mean? So, this person may have ended it with you, and they may have ended it with you just so they can come back around and be with you. So, I look at that as like a, um, a narcissistic head game, honestly, because... They're saying it's the end, but then they're passionately going to come back in wanting to offer passionate messages and wanting to hook up with you again. So, like I said, the death card. Ah, uh, it was this person, right? And they're coming, they're like, on their horse. I want to end this relationship with my Aries. Oh. Right? But then they want to come back in and offer passionate emotion with you. So that's crazy. This person may like to drink, may like to party. Um, this person may have friends and stuff that they hang around and they talk to. Or this could be a third party situation. Um that they could be giving their cups elsewhere to like two other people. Yeah, this person has been working on this too as well because they've just been dishonest um, about the situation. And not only that, they may be dishonest about what they do for work or surrounding a work issue here. Um, they may be... Um, or just not working on this relationship at this particular time. But I see that they're going to come in again and offer you some kind of passion, okay? Sorry, the camera was doing something. Yeah, they have a lot of choices um, when it comes to people who are interested. So they really want to take the time to decide who they want to give this page of wands to it could be either you it could be another person i see your three of cups here so that's also talking about a third party situation okay all right so in your current state of mind i feel like you're juggling um trying to decide because like i said you're very emotional right now you're very emotional about this situation because if you was in a high level commitment i could see that you're juggling the idea of like man should i give to this or not should i reach out or not type of thing 
I do kind of feel like you guys are not really speaking right now. And if you are speaking, it's very little. Yeah, the situation right now, you're juggling your head because it's not making you happy, okay? It's not making you happy. So let's go ahead and do this. Ah, uh, so you're in your head. You're juggling. You're juggling. You're like, on this side, I care about this person. On this side, this person doesn't make me happy. So, ah, uh, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> this person is disappointed over the relationship. Um, I feel like their their decision making, their bad decision making, um, has brought you not in a, such a good mood or not such an optimistic mood. Um, this person may not be reaching out to you, or then, like I said again, maybe very little communication with the Eight of Wands right here. Okay. Um. And there's a lot of things. There's a lot of factors. It's not just because this person is unfaithful. Um, there's a lot of other things that this person is doing um, to cause his relationship not to work, okay? In your mind, you just feel like this situation um, is not going the way that you thought it would go. And you may be reaching out to tell this person. But this person is in the water, all right? They got one foot in on you and one foot outside the water with the star card, okay? So they're in the, they're in the water. They're like, ah, I love this water. Ah, this person. I care so much about my Aries, but I just can't keep myself out this dirty ass water. Ah, ah, ah. So you're going to be probably going to come in and have a conversation with them about the situation and how they're making you feel, okay? Especially this person's not reaching out. Yeah, you're going to try to um, tell this person what you want in a relationship or you're going to be trying to manifest with this person again, okay? But why? You may have kids with this person. Or you may have family with this person. At one point, this, this situation was um, very, very, very... Um, optimistic and very very happy situation so i think you're looking back at that and saying man you know we did have it good at one point i feel like you're having a lot of sleepless nights a lot of anxiety that's caused um from this person not communicating with you or not acting right so you're up in your head about it um and you know you've been grieving you've been sad about it but i don't think uh, you've let that be known to a lot of people i think this is just something that you are um, experiencing by yourself, okay? Like, you're keeping it from other people, okay? Yeah, I see you've been working on your money. Working on your money, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I, this person just has a lot of mood swings, a lot of dishonesty. This person may have cheated on you in the past, being a knight, the knight of cups in reverse. So this person could have been, um, in and out, in and out of, in and out of your life type of thing, um, came and gave you good, passionate love, passionate sex, attention, and then they they start some kind of thing, and then it, it ends. So let's, let's talk about new love, okay? New, what's new coming in? You may have a Pisces coming in. You may have a Pisces coming in, but um, you need to stop. You don't need to be so defensive about this new love that's coming in. Um, like I always try to tell people, um, don't um, try to... You may still be hanging on to this person, so you may be defensive against this Pisces coming in who wants to give you love, okay? Let's see one more on this new love. Yeah, you may not be as passionate about this new love coming in. Um, maybe because you may be thinking about this past person, maybe wanting to go back there. Um, like I said, you may have a family with this person, so you may be defensive against this new love coming in. So if you want new love coming in, make sure you're not so defensive, okay? To workplace, I feel like things are work are, are going pretty fast right now in your workplace. Um, you may be just working your ass off at your workplace, um, but you may be pessimistic about something, maybe a business opportunity or something that you're trying to do. Um, at the same time, I feel like you've just been really hard on yourself or something like that. Maybe this whole thing is throwing you out of place. And um, 
at your workplace. Be 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 more forgiving in, in your workplace about other people not being under me up to your expectations, okay? Your past person, yeah, they want to turn things around with you. They want to turn things around with you because and this is future, okay? It's prediction. They might want to turn things around with you because, like I said, you guys might have a family. You have the Six of Cups in the World card. So they may want to come back because um, they may have had a family with you. But right now, it's just on the rocks right now. So they might want to come back in maybe after a period of time and uh, make things right with you because of the nostalgic feelings that's going on, okay? Call upon the tarot gods and figure out what you want to do in this situation. <laughs> Or do what you want. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Bye.